you guys saw i just made my bed nothing better than freshly washed sheets we washed our sheets last night and i was putting the duvet cover back on over the enter and like our fresh clean bed i just want to go crawl back in like there's no better feeling if you know you know and then i made my oatmeal and my coffee took brody for a walk we're having such a nice morning i swear i've talked about this before but i'm so highly affected by the weather like my mood i don't know i just feel like it's so affected by the weather and it's like sunny and nice out and it's been like rainy and dreary so i don't know i'm just in a good mood i'm really happy and it's a beautiful day and now i'm gonna show you guys i just got a package in from lulu's thank you so much lulu's for working with me on this video i'm so excited to try it all on i can't even wait so we're gonna do it right now first things first I I got these new jean shorts from Lulu's. High-waisted, I love the wash of them, the distressing, they fit me so perfect. You need the new perfect pair of denim shorts for spring and summer that you're always gonna grab. These are them, like they're just perfect. They're gonna go with everything. I'll have them linked down below and all the things I'm gonna be showing you guys from Lulu's, I'll have linked down below in the description. Last thing I was gonna say about these shorts is they're actually the brand Goldie. You guys know a Goldie denim is my favorite just because it fits me so well. And actually a lot of the Goldie denim shorts and jeans I have I've gotten off of Lulu's. Okay, then I got a couple dresses because Duh. going into the spring and summer and this one I got specifically for a wedding I'm going to be going to I just thought this was so perfect because it's longer so it's like a little bit nicer so casual I love that they had so many different colors to choose from on this one obviously I wasn't gonna get white for a wedding but the white one was like really pretty and yeah I just feel like this would be the perfect wedding dress or like event dress if you guys have an event to go to I always turn to Lulu's if I'm looking for a dress or a jumpsuit or romper like a piece for an event because I just feel like they have the cutest pieces and this is so flattering I feel like this is one of like the best sellers like highest rated so I knew it would be so good So I just thought this like purple mauve color was so pretty again it would be so good for like a summer spring wedding The back just looks like that. Oh, it's kind of like lower in the back and higher in the front. So cute Okay, when I saw this dress on their website, I almost screamed. I'm like, are you kidding me? The details on this it just looks so nice I love like the rouging right there if you can see how it kind of like swoops in the front so so flattering and obviously just the perfect like little black dress, cocktail attire. I don't even know specifically what I'd be wearing this to yet, but I feel like I needed like a refresh on my little black dress assortment. I feel like the ones I had from college are just way too short, not really appropriate anymore. And this one's perfect if you need a little black dress. I love the details. This one's so good. Okay, then last, but most certainly not least. Oh my goodness. I got this floral dress in these little cowboy boots and this is fully inspired by when I just went to Nashville. I feel like every girl there was wearing the cutest little floral flowy dresses with cowboy boots and I was so inspired. I fully got this fit to go to Nashville again this summer because that's how much I love Nashville. Like I literally had so much fun and this is just this floral free people dress. So dang cute. Love the details. Love like the v-neck. It's kind of like flowy, comfy. Obviously you can dress it up, dress it down and then these little cowboy boots to go with. Are you kidding? Look at them, because I had tall ones, but I didn't have little short ones. I saw these on Lulu's and I was like, heck yeah. Need those immediately. So this is the fit. Again, everything will be linked down below. And now I'm actually going to insert some footage. Yesterday, Max and I had a day. We went to King of Prussia, did some shopping, everything like that, but I wasn't even filming a vlog, so I just took some footage and I'm gonna insert that right here. Adventure day vlog, right? Date day. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? KOP, do a little exchangey, yeah. returny, shoppy, lunchy. Lunch. Situation. Definitely lunch. <laughs> it's Max's day off, so thank you for coming mm -hmm. with. So that must mean we do all the plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually. You would like to go? Yes. Okay. I thought it was going to take a lot of convincing. Yesterday I was, was like thinking in my head, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can convince Max mm. to go with me. Thanks for carrying my, my coat, honey bunny. We're going to exchange it. If you guys remember, Max got me this coat for my B day, but it was. Messed up. It's okay. It was like very similar to the color we wanted, but we're just going to exchange. Be perfect. And then we'll see what we're thinking for lunch. I don't know. I don't know if we've made up our mind yet, like where we want to go. Bar taco? Yeah, but I might want sweet cream. No way. <laughs> we never, I never get part. I know, Bar Taco is really good. But I don't think they have the crispy Brussels sprout, which is my fave. So, we'll see. I have not filmed at all yet in here, but we went to Aritzia. We went to Zara. Now, I think we'll pop into Lulu. I realized I never took my sunglasses off. So now they're just kind of a headband. <laughs> what else do we have to tell them? We want lunch soon? Uh, yeah, I'm getting hungry and 
Yeah. Mm. I forget which way Lulu is. I gotta look on my map. It's so big in here. You can go like every different direction. Doing a horrible job at vlogging. Mm -hmm. I did not even vlog in Lulu, but show them. <laughs> We've been Lulu shopping all. I just look over Max is like five things in his hands. He's like, I just gotta check out before I find anything else. Well, I mean, because you were chatting in there, so I was <laughs> shopping. Yeah. I wish I pulled out my camera with my girlies. Shout out. There was like three different girls I met that work at Lulu. If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> Love ya. And we had so much fun. They were showing me their sneakers, and I actually bought their new sneakers that they came out with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're running into Neiman Marcus to get bags, but um, I actually got the gray ones. I was gonna do black, but I already have black, so I feel like I don't have any gray sneakers actually. I'm wearing the orange theory to run. Okay, now we have to look at bags, maybe shoes. <laughs> okay, this spot, Neiman Marcus, is where I always come across shoes that I don't really need, but that I love. <laughs> Here are the bags. Mmm. We're at Bar Taco. Do you guys think we ordered enough tacos? Look at all of these. Fish, like, I think that's called Baja fish, cauliflower, shrimp, chicken, chorizo, falafel, pork belly, ribeye. Heck yeah, we literally got so many. Buddy. Look who's back. You tired? Are you eating our leftover tacos? He was digging in them. <laughs> Did you have fun with your friend? Look at all that crumbles. <laughs> you probably gotta brush out your fur a little. Why are you licking your lips? He just had a cookie. Oh yeah, that's right. Gang's all back together. Are you ready for a bath? A B-A-T-H? Oh, he not gonna like that. <laughs> The next morning all you saw after our king of prussia shopping adventure was cornhole last night I'm gonna like film our dinner and stuff max grilled and we had like steak and broccoli and rice and yep we just like went to bed early and we're like really tired so nothing too exciting i just got back from orange theory and i'm nervous you guys because my back really hurts this is what happened before when i like really like injured my back in orange theory and it's like the same like my lower left back where it didn't hurt in the class and then after like it kind of felt like like towards the end, I finished on the treadmill and I was like, oh, like everything hurts, but more like my legs. But when I got out of the car, I'm like, ow, my back. And I'm scared I like tweaked something. I think I just pushed myself so hard in those classes and like music so loud, it's like I can't even listen to my body. I need to freaking be careful because I really think I like hurt my back again. Okay, we might need a shower and like lay on the heating pad a little bit because I'm in pain. I think I need a cuddle with this guy. You think so it's heavy to see me. Oh, and I gotta feel good because we have some more fun that we're going this afternoon. Do you know where we're going? It's not that fun, but I just tell him it's fun. We're going to the PET. <laughs> he just has to get a couple shots that he's due on. So we're gonna do that later, yeah. You guys, don't look. The wall <laughs> right here is all like dirty and has like literally like little nicks taken out of it. And it's cause he's always laying up there and he brings his bones up there. And the bones are really hard and they hit the wall and make like little like holes almost. Oh, that's so bad. He's like, it wasn't me. Are you gonna get your little paintbrush out and fix that buddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, from his bath the other day, there's still like blankets all over the couch so he wouldn't get the couch too wet. You are so clean now. You are a clean, fresh guy. I cannot handle the tail. <laughs> my plan was to make an omelet, but again, I just want to shower and like lay down <laughs> So I threw together some yogurt Strawberries granola blackberries. It's gonna be so good. This is like my go-to especially if I want something quick It just always tastes so good to me And I feel like I said recently in the vlog, but I've been loving this type of yogurt too good Greek yogurt vanilla. I don't know my friend Taylor got me on it tastes even better to me than the Chobani Which is what I usually would do the Chobani vanilla, but yeah try this one out We had a 
quick little pantry clean out. I cannot believe that this is the after. Like there is still <laughs> so much food in here, but yeah, we got rid of so much that was like expired old and yeah, I can't believe still how much is in there, but it's making me feel better that like everything is in its place and category now. Doesn't that look better? I mean down there, I didn't really go through that just, yeah, but everything else looking great. The poppies are looking beautiful. There we have it. So I was reading a comment on my last vlog last night and there was a comment asking how I use my Bare Minerals Tinted Moisture that I got um, during this forest sale and she was like, can you show how you use it? So I was like, yeah, let's do it right now. I'll do it on like lighter makeup days, but you also could like layer it and do concealer and like bronzer and stuff on top, like powder and I feel like it could make it look like more full coverage, um, but you'll see. I just really like it because you can see how my skin looks right now. And then after I feel like it makes it look just so glowy, like a nice little tint and everything. This is my brand new one. I honestly kind of go like this and just rub it around with my hands. Since I feel like it's, it's a tinted moisturizer, it's just like lotion I can kind of rub in. But it's like, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> it's like more tinted than you would think. I feel like whenever I think tinted moisturizer, I'm like, oh, it's like zero coverage. But I feel like this does a really nice job at like evening out my skin tone while still um, not being like too heavy or anything. And uh, it's like so moisturizing and glowy, which is why I've been loving it. I think there's like pretty good SPF in it as well, like for the summer. Yeah, SPF 30. Hmm, I feel like it would even be more. I feel like other uh, like foundations and stuff I have will be like SPF 50 or 45 or something. Okay, so I honestly just rub it all over like that. I don't know if you can even tell a difference, but it like evens up my skin. I feel like you can see that. It also just looks really glowy and like natural and nice. I wear it on my neck. And then I do a little more coverage. I've been loving the Kosas concealer as well that I picked up during the Sephora sale. Um, I'm so happy. He was like, do you have dry skin? Do you have oily skin? Like kind of skin. And I was like, oh my gosh, my skin is so dry. He was like, this is going to be so good for you. Usually I use a beauty blender, but since I was already going with my hand, we'll just stick with it. I feel like you barely need any. Like I feel like I always put on <laughs> too much. So I'm really going to have to like blend this out. Kind of bring it up on top of my eyelids. I don't know if that supposed to but see i already feel like using this makes the tinted moisturizer seem like more full coverage because i feel like on this part of my face it already looks like very flawless from using um under eye concealer and then when i do like bronzer powder all that i don't know i just feel like it almost looks well it looks just as nice as when I use my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, you know? So, yeah, but that's uh, how I use it. And honestly, it's like 10 times quicker. This is than when I do foundation or anything because I don't know, I just rub it around in my hands and it takes like literally 30 seconds. And I feel like the beauty blender process takes longer and I'll do like primer and all that underneath. You could use primer under this. Honestly, a lot of times I don't. I just, again, rub it all over and it feels like I'm doing lotion and like a tint at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'll show you like how it looks after because I feel like this lighting is not good and you can't see what I mean by the glow. But when I like pick up the camera, you'll see what I mean better. Here's what it looks like. See what I mean? It can still look pretty like flawless and like full coverage makeup-y look. I don't know, I just feel like it's really nice. If you can see, it's kind of like glowy. I didn't put on highlighter or anything. Just a little blush and bronzer. Um, yeah, I really like the way it looks. Would recommend the tinted moisturizer. That's gonna be like my go-to all spring. Guess who did so good at the bed? You did. Oh, you guys, I was just thinking how I should bring him to get up. I shouldn't say that too loud, but I feel like he's been having like tummy, like upset tummy recently. So I don't really wanna upset it. Like I feel like a, a um, cup of whipped cream wouldn't really help that. Maybe we'll just get a couple animal crackers when we get home. How does that sound? You guys, he did so good in there. I'm like so impressed that he's listening to me 
and like his commands and all his training and stuff even in such like a distracted environment with like so many people and dogs he did so good you saw the clips of me i had him like place up on the bench next to me and i couldn't believe he was just hanging out up there with me he did so good and i will say the like one of the number one things that you guys comment about brody and like other people comment on too what are you looking back there <laughs> um is his teeth and how white and shiny they are everyone's like do you brush them every day like they're so white they're so shiny like whatever and I'm like you would never know that he doesn't really let me brush them like he's so good at everything like he loves not loves taking a bath but he lets me like I feel like he's just always been used to the water since we would go swimming with him in the ocean when he was like eight weeks old and so he's good with baths he's good with like everything but <laughs> but the, do you want your window down <laughs> my little face back there um yeah, he hates getting his teeth brushed is the only, it's the only thing. But luckily his teeth are just white on their own, so no one would ever know. <laughs> we gotta work on that, buddy. We gotta work on that. Buddy, show me your teeth. <laughs> I almost forgot about these, sir. <laughs> Let's see what he does if he has the whole handful to choose from. I feel like he'll still have like one at a time. You are so gentle. You are such a good boy. There you go. <laughs> I think he's so sleepy. She said the flu shot might make him a little sleepy. Huh. And um, we went on two walks today. Oh, there's a little crumb. That's for you. Okay, we're going to space these out. You just wait right there. Or not. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys that you will probably never see this place this clean again <laughs> because I have the girls coming over tonight to watch the game. Um, so yeah, take a good look and don't get used to it because it is never this clean. I just tidied up a bit quick. I mean, this desk is always a mess, but <laughs> everything's pretty clean for the most part. Usually it's not like cleanliness that's an issue, it's just like clutter, like there's always stuff everywhere. There's always these toys everywhere. I threw a bunch on his bed, but yeah, I actually just ordered a bin on Amazon. Oh, free one, um, to put all his toys in because he doesn't have like a home for them. They just are all over this apartment usually. So yeah, here's the overview. Shocking that it's all tidy. <laughs> Is this too many animal crackers? How many animal crackers is too many animal crackers? Sit. Good sit. Let's do some training while we're at it. Get the eyes over the counter. Brody, come! That's a very good come. Sit. Stay in your sit. Down. Good down. <laughs> you guys have I given him too many <laughs> but he did so good at the vet he's such a good boy Brody come I don't really know what else to teach him what else to do touch <laughs> he's looking at it because there's a couple of things. touch touch when you do touch he's supposed to just like bop his nose right there down 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 stand good boy these are just a couple crumbs left. <laughs> this clip should be called Watch My Golden Retriever Eat Animal Cookies. Animal Crackers. Animal Cookie Crackers. See, this is usually what this place looks like. Toys everywhere. I don't even need more. That's it. <laughs> oh, I wish this looked like this every day, though, because it makes me feel like, I don't know, at ease, you know? I'm so affected by my environment and. It's clean, so I'm happy. Do you have so much fun with all the girls, buddy? Are you so sleepy now? You guys, we had so much fun. I knew I wasn't gonna vlog, but I'm really sad I didn't whip it out quick to show you the cheese board. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. The cheese board was phenomenal. Thank God I had my friend McKenna help me because I'm so bad at putting them together. They just never like taste that good um, or like look that pretty or have the right stuff. I don't know, but she's so good at it. So yeah, it was literally phenomenal. We were obsessed and Brody was so social as you can tell because now he's exhausted. 
and I just am so happy when people come over because he loves people so much and it's so much fun playing with them and they all love him so much so I don't know they were just so good and he was literally thriving and so was I we had so much I'm so proud of myself because I've been relaxing you're probably like what why are you proud of yourself for that I feel like I'm someone that honestly struggles to like slow down and just like chill like I'm not chill anyone that knows me knows I'm not chill I'm always moving sitting on this couch to vlog for a second is like I have to fight getting up and running around and like cleaning something or tidying up something or doing something. Like I always have to be doing something. All of that is to say, I've been proud of myself that I've been, I think I've been intentional with moments to relax. Like I'm not, like I can't like relax, sit there all day, like can't do it. But if I'm like Gretchen, take 20 minutes to read. For example, I wanted to tell you about my book because I'm freaking obsessed. Like, okay, here's a really good example. This morning I... I set my alarm for 8, but I woke up at 7.30 and I was wide awake. And I'm like, Gretchen, normally you would take out your phone and scroll for like 30 minutes until your alarm goes off. I'm like, today I'm going to read. And it was so, it was such a nice start to my morning. It was like so peaceful and relaxing. And I'm like obsessed with my book. So it felt like I blinked and my alarm was going off. But... Yeah, I'm just trying to be better with like, if I'm like, oh, okay, I want to go to bed in like 30 minutes, I'll like read until then instead of go on my phone. Or like, I'm all ready and I have to leave in like 30 minutes to go somewhere, I'll read in the meantime, something like that. Okay, I need to tell you about this book because everybody knows, I feel like so basic, Colleen Hoover. But if you're someone like me that like has always wanted to get into reading but kind of struggles to read a book because you get bored of them and like abandon them, that's so mean and I just like don't have the attention span to focus on that and I've always said oh I don't have time it's like you do you make time for what's important to you and you prioritize it's like you, if you make it a priority then you'll have time for it you know anyway that's what I've learned the hard way because I would always like complain and I'm like no I scroll my phone like if you scroll on your phone if you're on Instagram an hour a day like you have time to read anyway <laughs> that's all things that I heard that I was like okay this is fully calling me out yep that's me okay Colleen Hoover so it's been helping me get into read because like I feel like there's such popular books and they're very like juicy like fast moving so it keeps my attention and I feel like the most iconic one that everyone talks about is it ends with us which I read which I really liked and I went through it really quick it kept my attention everything but I just I almost am like shocked that that's the one that like everyone loves so much because I think this is better and maybe I just like this one more because well I have like 40 pages left and I like need to finish today I'm like speeding through it because I just really like it so so far so good I just I don't know the other one was so like jarring to me because I had no idea it was about like domestic violence and so I wish I had like a warning <laughs> someone told me before I started reading because the whole time it was just like highly emotional treat and then this is kind of just like a love story but to me less like still like turbulent like challenges but not anything like it ends with us so i but i mean again i don't know yet like it could get crazy because there's like 40 pages left um but yeah read ugly love because i really like it i think it's so good i was just telling my friend gracie about it and how i'm gonna give it to her because she has to read it after me because i'm just really liking it um but yeah i'm gonna end off this vlog here i just want to tell you about ugly love that i'm loving it i'm about to finish because i'll keep you updated in a coming vlog imagine if i'm like don't read it terrible ending or like it gets crazy or something but yeah i'm just like loving it and i keep him like turning the pages so quick because i want to know what happens next it's like one of those but yeah ending off the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next video